Now the first step is to delete the .cfg folder and then verify the game files and then it will populate the .cfg folder once again. Now for this you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Here you can see cfg folder, make a right click, copy this folder, create a backup first. So once you create a backup, now you can delete this folder. Now once this is deleted, now go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files and once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can check the files once the verification is complete now you can go to the game folder here you can see the cfg folder is back and then you can launch the game and then you can check Now let me close the game for now. Now still not working. The next step is to turn off DLSS override in NVIDIA apps. So you, if you're using NVIDIA app, you can open NVIDIA app, go to graphics, select the game. Now if you're using this override, uh, you can turn off the override. Sorry. Turn off the override. So if you're using any kind of override, uh, just turn it off. And also, the next step is to optimize or revert optimization in NVIDIA app. Now for this, uh, also in NVIDIA app, uh, when you select the game over here, if you see optimize option, you can hit optimize and then you can check. If the game is already optimized, then you will see the revert option. So hit revert and then you can close NVIDIA app and then you can launch the game. Next step is to close all the application running in the background. So if you have multiple application running over here, make sure that you close all the application from here. Close everything. Make sure everything is closed, including your browser. So if Mozilla Firefox, Chrome, anything is open, you can just close your browser. Also go to task manager. And if you have any third party applications running over here, which you're not using, uh, you can just uh, make a right click and then click on end task, close everything. And then you have to relaunch the game. Next step is to rename ace.base.syz file. Now for this, uh, you can go to, if you're playing a uh, game like Delta, Delta Force, it has ace anti-cheat. Now for this, uh, you can go to file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, and then open windows folder and then open system 32 folder open the drivers folder and find here you can see ace dash base dot sys now if you don't have this file you can ignore this if you have this file you can just rename it and then you can launch click on yes to allow And once this is renamed, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. And after, once you rename, you restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is start or restart easy anti-cheat service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box. And find easy anti-cheat. Then make a racket, click on start. Or you can click on. If you please ignore this error message. If you are receiving this error message, skip it. So click on start or restart. So for me, it's Epic Online Service. But if you see any other easy anti-cheat, uh, you can just restart this service and then check. Next step is to try Power Saver mode. Now for this, type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box and then go to Control Panel. Go to Hardware and Sound and then go to Power Options. Over here, you will see different options. In my case, uh, there is only balanced option, but in your case, if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try balanced and you can even go for high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. Also, if you're using this Intel Extreme Tuning Utilities software, if you're not using it, you can search in Google, you can install this software and then go to performance score ratio. Now, if this is set to like 58X or 57X, you can try maybe 55X, 54x or 53x try to lower down performance score ratio and then hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working 
the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working uh, use fix problems using windows update option now for this open windows settings go to windows update go to advanced option scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once the reinstall is done log into the computer and then launch the game and if still not working you can verify the game once again make a right click go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game turn off dlss in the game also turn off vsync turn off nvidia reflex change the gc buffer to 64 in option experiment so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options over here and then go to graphics over here now once you go to graphics over here you can see uh, nvidia dlss now if this is set to max quality or or ultra performance uh, you can just turn this off and also turn this off once this is off now scroll down and over here you can see nvidia reflex latency uh, nvidia reflex mode you can turn this off and then at the very top you will see the preset preset if this is set to max you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then go to screen over here uh, you can see full screen you can try window mode and you can even lower down resolution so if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more and apply changes now also go to experimental option over here and once you go to experimental uh, at the right hand side here you can see gc buffer in my case i i, I set this to 64 so this is working fine for me 64 so apply the changes and then check the performance now the next step is to disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can open windows settings go to system go to display go to graphics and then over here you can see advanced graphic option expand it over here you can see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off then turn it on and then you have to relaunch the game if this is already on you can turn it off and then check so check both on and off and then we check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to run these commands these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here hit the enter key once this is done run the second command paste it hit the enter key run all the commands now once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check you can even try mobile hotspot so you can turn on the cell phone uh, data on your phone turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network over here once you're connected to the phone network now you can launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to windows security now for this open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app to control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps select both the exe file and then type in control panel go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings 
allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder once again, and do the same thing. Uh, program file 686, open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, common Rust folder, select both the exe file. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then select this one, click on open, click on add. Now, once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. If you have any third party antivirus, uh, okay, so I forgot to add this one, uh, Windows security, PVC and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection, manage ransomware protection, allow an app, yes, add an allowed app, browser apps, and then if you see easy anti-cheat folder, select this one and select this one. Do the same thing in the control uh, panel. If you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage browse local files and then launch the game from here. So make a double click, launch the game from here. You can even use this to launch the game. Still not working. In that case, uh, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to uh, this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on okay. Make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, go to this and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on okay, launch the game. Still not working, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on okay, launch the game. You can even put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a uh, double click, launch the game from here. You can do the same thing with this exe file. And when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck all the boxes, hit apply, click on OK, do the same thing with the second exe file, and then follow the next step. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to AMD, uh, NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, select your operating system, and then click on find. And find, uh, at the very top, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the GeForce Game Ready driver, latest one, click on view, and then you can click on download, and download this file, and then run this exe file. Now click on agree and continue, and then select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box we say perform a clean installation click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check if that does not work uh if the latest one is not working in that case you can even roll back your graphics card driver so on this page you can click on view more version and then you can try to install it to the previous you can try the previous driver or you can even install the for me, this is working fine, 566.36. You can install this, and but when you go for installation, make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, and then click on next, and after that restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app, and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here uh, click on the game over here and then select high performance do the same thing with the second exe file and check click on the game over here select high performance for this also select high performance over here and then you can launch the game desktop users uh, connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard not the intel one now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step 
Now the next step is to uh, unplug all the external devices. So uh, the devices like if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have any extra controller connected, disconnected. Like if you have any virtual controller like Vijo, etc. connected, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off Nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application. If you have, do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reward Gamer. So close all the overclocking application. If you have any third party services running, uh, you can close it. Also, if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS, BIOS update, launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. Also make sure that your hard drive, uh, your drive has enough space. So in my case, it's red. So make sure it's uh, glue. It's uh, if you have enough memory over here, enough space. So now launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.